Okay, I recently purchased a Festool Domino and uh, you gotta lay out some serious money for a tool like that, but I, I, I think that the tool is worth it. But uh, as I'm playing around with it uh, the other day, trying to set it up for a particular cut, I noticed that I, I, I was just trying to, I had to basically fumble around with it and, and it wasn't comfortable doing it. So I came up with this idea and this is, the, this is um, a drawing or my CAD version of it after uh, playing around with it down in my shop. Um, and I'll show you what I have here. But basically what this is is, is a saddle to hold the, the, uh, the domino upside down so you can make adjustments. It's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. We got hit with about uh, seven and a half inches of snow yesterday. Uh, and today it's going to be 50. <laughs> so that's one of those spring uh, days that you got to put up with, I guess, yesterday. So anyway, here's the here's my, what I, I guess I'll call my playing around uh, prototype. I cut a couple of blocks here, inch and a half tall. Uh, the width is is really not that uh, significant, nor the thickness, because I'll play around with that some more too. But back here is the saddle, and nothing more than uh, a cutout. Uh, that I I cut this out with a fly cutter, then cut it in half. Had to do a little shaping in here because this is not perfectly round, but that didn't take long. Just used a rasp, round rasp to get the to get the fit I wanted, and and uh, if you own one of these, you, you know that the 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 uh, body comes together in two parts here, and I've got this sitting on the front half, right in front of this division line here. So the the critical thing I was looking to do was uh, it this surface and this surface to be level which would make this front face then perpendicular to the to the to the front of the of the uh, jig so but you can see this is very I mean it is just solid and I, I don't have anything you know glued together or dominoed together or anything uh, and it just holds it exactly where I want it so um, Pretty, it's very simple, but it, but I think it's going to be very effective. But what it does now is it gives me total access to the front of this um, hands-free. Basically, once I clamp this to my workbench to make these adjustments, holding my workpiece, getting it set exactly where I want it, you know, uh, dialing these in. Um, to, to get the, the uh, perfect setup without, like I said before, I was kind of fumbling around. You're trying to hold it with one hand or it's sitting on the bench and it's rocking. Uh, you know, if, you, if this was not here, let me get this out of the way. And I'm trying to do this way. You got this thing going on. You got, you know, how do you, how do you keep it steady? And Or you could do it this way, you know and uh, eyeball it but the workpiece I was using was was uh, thinner than than this distance from here to to the face so that's what I was getting I was it was rocking on on, the, on those green adjustment knobs and I didn't like that either so that's that's why I came up with this so once this gets put back in it in place and everything is dialed in I think it's going to be a nice little setup uh, for for uh, for a nice jig to to be setting up the the domino. So a setup type type uh, jig. So now let's go back to the drawing or, or the CAD model, and I'll show you that the the, uh, the one improvement I guess that I've made so far with with these uh, pieces right here.
So you can see what I did here is uh, I've, I'm going to make this little cutout here so that as, when you set the, the domino into it and you want to push it against it that way, these will act as stops to keep it from going that direction. Um, I thought about you know doing a, doing a piece here to lock it down, but that kind of defeats the purpose of a quick and easy setup tool. You have to unclamp it basically and um, I, I don't want that. I want to be able to drop it in, do what I want to do, pull it out and, and get back to, to using it for what it was designed to do. So I think this will be uh, the easiest and simplest solution. Um, the, the handle is locked in between these two pieces so that there's no side to side movement. And then like I say, the, these two stops here uh, butt up against the, um, uh, the fence height adjustment uh, um, tubes, guide tubes I guess, I'll put it that way, so that it, that it can't go this way, this direction. And um, I can't see that any way that you're ever going to want to, you're going to be pulling it off, you know, toward you. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that that, that that should be all I need to do. I suppose I could make this like a U-channel here, so that it locks it both forward and backwards, but uh, we'll see how that goes in uh, when, I, when I make my next uh, step blocks here. So this is going to be uh, three quarters of an inch from, from, from this corner to the cut and the depth is going to be uh, half an inch. I think that's what I've got to figure out here. Let me just measure that quick on that face to that face. Yeah, half an inch. So, we should be good to go. And then what I intend to do is, you know, just domino this to the, to the plate. Uh, same here. Maybe put a couple on this back one back here to, to just lock them down to the top of the uh, jig. So, let's, let's go down and, and uh, build it. The one thing I'm, I'm going to change is from what I showed you on um, my actual prototype is I'm going to change the base plate. I'm going to make that nicer and I'm also going to change the uh, these two pieces here obviously. Uh, but uh, other than that we should, I'm going to keep that saddle because that took a while to get that thing the way I wanted that. Sorry for the background noise. My dog, Teddy, chewing on his toys, green toy, I guess you'll call it, fake, fake bone. Anyway, that's, that's the disturbance.